This is a developing story just coming into News 12 this afternoon. Sandy Anabi was indicted today three and a half years after she switched her vote at the last minute to help get that $600 million development project approved. Former Yonkers Republican Party Chairman Zay Jarris and politically connected attorney Anthony Mangone were also named in the indictments just unsealed. News host Robert Wolf is outside the federal courthouse in White Plains now with more on these stunning arrests. Robert. And Brian, stunning is the word. Now, Cindy Nobby was processed at the FBI office here in White Plains just a short time ago. Now, these charges stem from a federal investigation into alleged corruption involving the $630 million Ridge Hill development in Yonkers. Now, it was back in 2006 that Sandy Nobby, who was adamantly opposed to that project, suddenly changed her no vote to a yes vote in the Yonkers City Council. And now we learn that Jarris and Mangone allegedly secretly gave Nobby monetary payments and other things of value as a reward. News 12 has confirmed that three people have been indicted after a federal corruption probe into the multi-million dollar Rich Hill Development Project in Yonkers. Sandy Anabi, former Yonkers City Councilwoman, former Yonkers Republican Party Chairman Zay Jarris, and attorney Anthony Mangone also face charges. Anabi has been specifically charged with bribery, mail fraud, and mortgage fraud. Anabi became the focus of the federal probe after her controversial vote on the project back in 2006 in the Yonkers City Council. Anabi suddenly switched her position and voted in favor of Rich Hill. The Democrat had been opposed to the project up till that point. Her cousin, political mentor and former Yonkers Republican chair, Zay Jarris, was apparently acting as a go-between for lawyers representing the developer, Forest City Ratner. The project was approved and is currently under construction off the New York State Thruway. Tenants there will eventually include Saks Fifth Avenue, Whole Foods, L.L. Bean, when it opens sometime next year. Now we learned from Anabi's attorney that she will be released on $300,000 bail secured by her homes. We're told by her attorney, uh, Murray Richmond, who says Anabi is totally innocent of these charges and will fight them vigorously. Now the developer, Forest City Ratner, through a spokesperson, tells News 12, quote, the issue is now in the courts and Forest City Ratner has no comment. Keep an eye on the sky. Go to Channel 612, select weather and Doppler Live Radar. On News 12 Interactive, only on Cablevision, not on phone company TV or anywhere else.